morning guys, it's January 16th, 2019. So here I gotta go um, replace a kitchen sink faucet and um, straighten out a dishwasher that's in crooked. So, I'm on my way over there now to so try to get some shots. The dishwasher's in cattywampus. We'll see if we can straighten that out for the lady. And uh, replace the faucet. The faucet's got a real slow flow to it. Cholesterol built up type of stuff, so. She got another faucet for Christmas, she said, so. We're gonna go over there and swap it out for her. Spike. Hey. Hello. Hello. You want a snack? You want a snack? You want a snack? I'll give you a snack. that she got here it does have a base on it so I'm probably gonna have to put it put the base down here and then the little soap spray over there not the greatest flow in the world but she's uh she wants a new faucet so we'll put a new one in it for her. you can see the dishwashers Hitting down the bottom here and way out here. And I do have this piece of wood in there, which I don't know if I should take that piece out or not. I might be able to adjust the bottom, the back legs down, pull it out, adjust the back legs down. Because if I uh, if I take that piece of wood out of there, these are gonna hit. So what I'll do is I'll probably pull it out and there's back wheels on this thing that you could adjust. Wheels or legs and then bring that down and that should bring this front in. We're gonna do this faucet first. It did move all the stuff out for me, which is good. I'm gonna shut off here. One, two. Oh, look at that. Caddy Wampus. Caddy Wampus. Oh, this ain't looking so pretty, is it? Look at this mess. We're probably going to clean this up for her. We're going to double... A double Y there. This isn't looking so kosher. We'll turn these back on for now. Let's see, that one's dripping anyway. In the bucket here, we'll drain some water down solid so we can work on these lines. up there and clean up them valves. I mean, it's a mess. 
Look at this, doesn't even have a, a sleeve on there. That's kind of odd. Look at this fucking mess. Joe Homeowner. Look at the old slash job, mama. The old slash job. It's not looking all that kosher, is it? But I'll make a couple of cuts there. This is all coming out anyway. I'm not really worried about it. This is all coming out. I'm gonna redo all this mess under here. Put a T here with a valve for the dishwasher and then we'll uh, go up and put on the valve for the faucet. I mean, that's a better way to do it. So I got the old faucet out. To clean up the deck. I got this plate that's going to go here. This faucet will go on. It's kind of real tight in there. You can't really see what's going on. But this is going to go on there like that. And it's going to be this nut goes on there then after that this cap nut goes on the end there to stop the holes from getting frail holes will go in after with the weight on it for the sprayer things kind of on an angle or whatever it is when it bolts down is what it's going to be thing kind of comes down cattywampus it is what it is mama saws on and cut some of that out. I don't know. Not gonna be easy. It's a two by four in there. I've got to kind of notch it so this this will fit in there. I mean that's not gonna I might as well do it now while I while I get it out. The saws on cut some pieces out. I don't know if I can show you. I had to kind of notch that two by four out of the way because when I put the bottle and it was hitting you can see the 2 by 4 goes the whole way across so I did leave some of it and I did notch I did notch some of the wood out so I should be able to get that bottle in there now that's the problem but on this other side you can see they tried to not they tried notching it but they didn't do enough of a job the other one was uh, they could never get the bottle in there on the other faucet. All right, guys. So I got the I got the faucet all in. It kind of tips a little bit because that base comes down on an angle. I mean, I can't do nothing about that. I did cut these lines down a little bit longer, a little bit lower, so this don't fetch up. And it's gonna fit, see? What I gotta do is I gotta solder these valves on. I got one valve there, and then I got a, a double here. One for the one for the dishwasher, one for the faucet. Let me see if I get this stuff soldered up now. those valves open. Alright guys, I got all them four, them three valves off. I got the hoses on. I got this dishwasher disconnected because I gotta straighten this out yet. But I'll turn the water on see if I get any leaks. I did shut them valves off that I had the bucket under before I shut the valves off over there already, so... That don't sound good, does it? Things not off. Oh, I 
they're smelling good. I'm gonna have to put them on the valve one, you know. I don't know. Cut it out. It's a BK. Put a compression ball valve in there. I got them in the truck. I don't use them unless I have to, but that's why I didn't have to worry about the water. It's off right now. It's like if they ever finished this wall off. I don't know why they did that, but I had to move these boxes out of here because they were starting to get a little wet, so I'll leave that out for now. It'll be good. Turn the water back on and continue. Dishwasher, and we should be done. I'm gonna pull this dishwasher out and straighten this mess out. If I can, straighten that out. If I can, I wonder if it's full of dishes. Of course, it is. Why wouldn't it be? I'm gonna pull the bottom off and find out where the electric power is. That's where we gotta shut the electric power off. But the water's dripping. Look at the electrical in this thing. Look at the way the guy did the electrical. Holy shit, guy, look at that. It's not even in there right. That's scary. So, um, so it's off. It's not labeled. It's not labeled, so we'll shut a couple of 15s and we'll check it. That's the only thing I could do. I don't know which one it is. Probably a 15. Mm. Basement lights, kitchen. I'll do the kitchen. I don't think that's it. I'll do a couple of. We'll try a couple of 15s and we'll see if it's off. So it's off. Be able to disconnect and clean it up. It's, I think it's under the kitchen. Well, I know it's off because I it's, the power's off, right? It is what it is. It tapes up the white one and not the black one. Go figure. Uh, I work, got worked up over stuff. Not to get too worked up over stuff. I mean, out of my control. We'll put a connector on it. We'll clean it up when it goes back in. We can't leave it like that. The wire's too short. Well, put a box in down solid and bring a new wire up. See them wheels? You can adjust those wheels. You can put them in different spots. That's what I'm going to have to do is adjust the wheels down. You see it? Pull this plastic out of here. And get the, either get the wheel right out of there. Or put it in the lower area. Skids off. And I put the tires down. 
put them, I put them lower by quite a bit. Lower them down. There's all kinds of adjustments in there. It should be better now. I really can't take that piece of wood out of there. We could make it smaller if we had to, but we can't take it out completely because the buttons will hit. We'll try that. I mean, I got, I got quite a bit out of it. Put a, put an angle adapter there because the line's a little short. And at least that's safe. And I got this thing all lined up. Got it all um, got it all in, and I jacked the front legs up. Fits nice. And that's the way, you know. It's a lot better than it was. You got to lower them back legs down. They're adjustable. Them wheels. So let me get this back together. <clears throat> get the cover back on there, and the electrical, and hook up the um, the water. And I got to tighten up this water on the side. Hook up the water and the drain. I got to fix the drain too. wire is a little on the tight side but it does go I got an angle adapter over there be all right it's tight here I did put a hose clamp on there this they had on there was loose so that's gonna be all right I just have to put the uh, the cover back on we should be good to go all right I got it all back together and Pick up my tools and get out of here. See you, Spike. See ya. See ya. <laughs>